shouldn't be your last so make sure you subscribe like share hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rosemary if this is your first time of hearing my voice you're absolutely welcome and to my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back in today's video i'm going to show you how i preserve my tomatoes and pepper i spend less cooking time in the kitchen so right now i'm just washing my tomatoes and make sure that it's properly clean and will continue the process please enjoy the video guys Next up, I'll place the tomatoes on fire. Guys, I did not add any water to this to, to this pot of tomatoes. It's just the tomatoes in it, and I'll cover it and allow it to cool. Next up, I've also cleaned the tatashi and shombo, and I'm going to add water to this because they don't have water in them, and I'll allow everything boil down. I went ahead off camera to add onions to it. Guys, are you seeing the water these tomatoes has produced? These are the what this is this water is water that you carry it and go and blend and you start boiling and you boil, 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 boil for it to boil down. It's ready right now. And I'll, after this video, I will also do another video to tell you another way you can pre also reduce your cooking time in the kitchen with the other method of cooking tomatoes, which I will share in my next video. After I'm done boiling the tomatoes, I will turn it in a sieve to allow it cool down very fast and also drain the water inside. I will now add my pepper in the pot and also add water to my pepper with the onions and put it on the fire to allow it boil too. Once it's cooled down, then I will start the blending process. I will just place, the right now I'm doing the tatashi and shombo, I will just place it in my blender, then blend it. Then once it's smooth to my own consistency, I will transfer it to this bowl. I'm not one to blend my tomatoes and peppers to be very smooth. That's my personal preference. Please do you. After blending it, I, or if you can, if you can see, I remain a little bit in the blender to enable me to blend the next set. If that makes sense, using the previous blend to blend the next set yes that's what i do i always do this this also helps reduce water in your blend if i'm using your blender a lot so once i blend the tomatoes now i'm blending the tomatoes now i would obviously remove a little bit of tomatoes to blend the next set guys please continue enjoying the video Let me know in the comment section which method of um, preservation do you use. Do you use this my method? Also, do you also remain a little bit of your um, blend blend mix in the blender to continue blending the next set? I learned this from my mother when I, years ago. This is how she blends as. So let me know in the comment section if you always add new water to each blend you are doing or you do this method. This method is very easy and it's proven. Is it proven with results? Oh, it will not kill me, guys. So, so that's what I do. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel here. I will bring you lifestyle, food content, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it here. So please subscribe. You will like it in, on my channel. Right now, I'm blending the pepper, and after blending it, I will also turn it in the plate. And If you have watched up until now, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate. This is how I preserve my tomatoes and pepper in my freezer and it can stay up to a year. Yes. And if you don't have 
light in your area because we live in Nigeria another way of preserving your tomatoes and pepper is pouring it in a jar after blending it pour it in a jar and just put granite oil on top of it guys you can put that on the floor and it's going to stay there for a very long time this I tell you is proven and tested only people that have watched up until now will get this this tip thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video ciao